finally, this game. <laughs> reflectors that I bought I was not gonna buy it in a shop because it's very expensive compared to online like I said I like buying stuff online so I bought this it cost about a um, thousand one hundred in a shop okay so let's see it came with this little box it's like a box thing here I don't know what it is yeah. so I got this it came with this Oh no! I told you there was a GoPro. Bro. <laughs> this guy got a GoPro. <laughs> okay, so so not only not only the reflectors came, something else came as well. It's this. Ah, come on, really? This is not. Okay. Let me show ah. you. Bro. This is how you do it. Bro. Oh, that's the games working right there. You see games, that? bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Do that. Do. Oh. Okay, there we go. So this came as well. It's a very, yeah. very cheap shotgun microphone. As you can see, super unidirectional condenser microphone. This was so cheap, you won't believe it. I bought it for $23, which is about, I'm not quite sure how much it is, but I'm guessing around three, $300, $400, three fifty dollars a million dollars. 23 US dollars, it's really cheap. So I'm not expecting much from this one. It costs about 1,100 in a shop. I mean, and from SA, buying it from South Africa is about like $700. But I bought this, I think for like 200, 150. -ish. It's like super cheap. But yeah, let's see. That's the first, so it has a zip. But this, you see this right here? It's kind of already torn. Oh, not, not the best bag you want, so. Again, disappointed. Second time buying something online, still this point. The bag looks pretty cool, but it's kind of torn a little bit. It sucks. So this is supposed to be a five-in-one reflector. Five-in-one reflector. Oh, and there we go. Pops open. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I expected. Yeah. I'm just gonna tell you the size right now. It's a five-in-one studio multi-collapsible photo reflector or bounce board. The diameter is 110 centimeters or 43 inches. Okay, the bag was pretty bad quality, but this, this is very strong. This looks good. Okay, now you have this. This just diffuses the, it diffuses the light a little bit. So both the sides are pretty much the same. Let me see if there's any mistakes on this. Yes, I saw one right now. You see that? Broken, again. Not great. Cheap stuff are usually not so great. On the inside, we have uh, this. When you flip it, as you can see, this is the inside black silver. And on this side, we have white and we have gold. This is kind of the same white as this. It's kind of the same white as this, but this white diffuses the light and this one reflects the light one thing but you can use this as a blanket bro oh you can use it as a blanket yeah, yeah? Right. sleep with it if you want to buy this just check the description down below i'll link it so you can buy it Room's always there. Right. okay <laughs> now we have this baby i do not have high hopes for this because <laughs> this was ridiculously cheap but let's see what we got so up on the top yeah. So, this little box, pretty small. It does have a little bit of dents here and there. But, let's see. The cool thing about buying online is you can always return your stuff. If, if you didn't get what you wanted, you can always return it. So, yeah. Okay. So, we get. We have this, which is a windscreen. Normal, normal thing you find on mics. And then you have these little clips. This is a tripod mount, as you can see it, you just screw it onto your tripod like that, 
or on your gorilla pod whatever you put your mic in there and then this one is for boom this is for boom pole you put it on you screw it on like this and you put your mic in there so that's cool i have two options on that and this is the xlr cable it's funny because this one has holes but then it goes inside so yeah whatever i don't know if it's a male or female but either way yeah. either way yeah. there's an xlr cable some cameras have the ability to go directly into the camera some don't dslrs don't really have that ability but yeah this goes into the mic and then this goes into your recorder this can go straight into your camera which is pretty cool now this one they tied this up pretty good see so this is the mic this goes in here of course like this Oops, like that it doesn't feel heavy no weight to it there's only some weight over here but this the rest of it is very very light unidirectional okay this is a unidirectional mic it only picks up here and some on the sides but not much and then this one does not pick up from behind at all i'm pretty sure of that so this um let me just see i'm pretty sure this is phantom powered because i mean look at it and i think all all shotgun mics are phantom power i do not know how to open this this is all that comes in the bag this there is no instruction manual but instruction manuals are for wusses screws out right there yep this is the wrong place so you see a bunch of wires this is the wrong place this requires a battery it was a little bit hard because if you twist it sometimes the top part can come off and not the bottom one which is a little bit tough it's not happening now but usually as long as you twist it like this open it up slides off and then put the battery in there boom now it's on can't wait to work this can't wait to use this so you put this on here right there put it on you can move this baby around and then the xlr cable goes in here this is how it looks this is how this thing looks when it's on the tripod using a tripod mount right here we're here at three circles this is three circles So three circles is just a spot where people spray on walls and stuff, but it's also a chill spot. So we're gonna use the bin. This camera is going on the tripod. So I'm just trying to show you how you use this equipment, okay? I'm gonna set up a shot for you right here. I think this looks good, look at that. We're gonna be using this as our machine. There's the background. Okay, so firstly, again, longer lens because we want that depth of field. Don't look at this right here. Okay, this is not working for me. We're moving the bin over up there. So this is just me trying to set up. I just want to say that I don't have any ND filters yet. I bought one, but it hasn't arrived yet, so it's gonna be a little bit bright. You're doing looks pretty good. So, firstly, this is the shot we got. Okay, the white part just brighten up the face a little bit you know it reflects the sun the sun is there which is perfect so there's a the perfect place i can stand it comes down it's here it goes right here this is on the gold side okay this is very very bright as you can see 
that terrible noise of the wind blowing is exactly why we are also testing out a mic in this video. An external mic very is well very done. important. Let's do the white again. The white is very diffused light, but it pops back onto it. Okay. It's really hot up here, so... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it's hot there. out here, man. I would have done a, a, a backflip, but... I'm sweating right now because it's really hot up here, but the clouds are kind of like covering up the sun right now. So, we'll just wait a little bit so that the sun actually comes out. And I'm gonna block the sun. Diffuse it, you know? See? I'm gonna block the sun and it diffuses the harsh sun. Oh, right there. So this is the difference. Yeah. This looks like this. Harsh shadows. No harsh shadows. So this is the difference. Kinda just makes like a shade, but it's not really a shade. It actually lets some sun come out, come through it. But it's not really very hot today, so. I'm sorry about that. Not my fault. I'm going forward with the video. Black and silver. And you just zip it up again. I'm going to stand on this side as well. Again. So I'm just going to point it right there. And you can see that one's very bright. Like that. Like that. The white one's really the one you want to use. When you want your subject to really pop, the silver is the way to go. It's really, really very bright. And then there's the black side that just completely blocks. This is the difference between between completely blocked and not blocked. But you can use this for, you can use this when you're using lights. It's a lot better when you're using lights to block any and all light. In this video, we're also gonna be testing out this shut that I bought. Yeah, the battery's in, so it has a switch. This is the switch, don't know if you can see it clearly, but you're pretty close, so somewhere here. There's telly on and Oh, we'll see if it works. It's on telly right now. You can just hold that. It's working. Uh, are we on? Yeah, it seems like we're on. We're not on, bruh. Cord, I have to say, the cord, there's something really wrong with the cord. It's not perfect, okay? Right now it's working. If I turn it to this side, turn it away, turn it away, turn it away, it stops picking up. As you can see, it's not picking up as much. Then I turn it back, I'm still talking, I'm still talking, it starts picking up a lot more. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping this is not just noise. So we have extra tripod here. With a tripod mount, this slides on right easy. Let me just show you. As you can see right here, this is this is how it looks. Usually you set it up something like this. I am out of the shot now, but as long as it's pointing to his mouth. Hi, and I'm a feminist. <laughs> you can hear a bit of noise, but with the wind shield right there. Go ahead. Talk? Yeah. <laughs> With the windshield, you can't hear a lot of the noise. I have to say, this windshield is kind of big, so it just slips out. Slips out sometimes, so it's not... <laughs> Constantly moving the mic and the wire makes it sound terrible. And it's a hassle. A hassle. Huge, huge hassle. It was hella cheap, but not perfect. However, that's why you have the tripod. So you never have to move your stuff around. Set this up like this, point at him, as long as we out of frame here. See, we out of frame right outside the frame. It only picks up certain words, doesn't it? Wow. Ah, it's perfect, yeah. It's only picking up certain words, people. <laughs> Cosette, Laurel. <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> Ideally, I would have put this on the other side so I can have space for this thing. I'm gonna take this over here and then come back forward. Let's start again. Okay, we're gonna go with Cosette. He's gonna move one, one foot back. Morel goes back. Cosette. Morel. Alina. <laughs> Is it working though? Yeah, it's working. Morel. Cosette. Morel. Cosette. Yeah, so you can see that. Morel. Cosette. <laughs> Even record, bro. Real. It's recording. Cosette. 
<laughs> even <laughs> wow okay even when he moves back four you can still hear him i'm pretty sure you can still hear him that's why this mic is so good yeah it's good perfect. yeah it's, it's yeah not perfect the wires are really messing up but the pickup yeah. patterns are really cool so that's about it for this one as you can see this setup that i'm using right now this is one you could use for your videos your youtube videos as long as you just get the mic um someone like um the se guy what's his name Casper Lee uses a shotgun mic as well, puts it in a shoe and then points it to his mouth, that works as well. But this is a general setup for like YouTubers, you could use this if you're making YouTube videos or making interviews or you could just hold the shotgun mic really. But you would want to make the cord shorter and make sure you're not using an adapter, especially for these ones. But I'm not blaming the mic completely because my recorder is pretty old so... Let's just say this was actually pretty good. So if you want to buy any of these, the reflector, the reflector is very cheap. Um, you can, this right here is interference from a phone. So yeah, if you want to buy the reflector, you can buy it online. It's very, very cheap. I think it's about, um, how much did I buy it for? Not quite sure, 250, somewhere there, 150. That's in a million dollars. So it's like 10, 10 dollars, sort of. But yeah, it's really cheap. So if you want one of these, check the link down below. And if you want, the microphone check the link down below as well uh, this could get really frustrating all I did was touch the mic and then the wire moved and since there's no one to constantly watch the audio for me I have to deal with this in a week I'll be giving this away or two weeks I'm not quite sure but yeah if your recorder uses a quarter inch jack then you're fine but if you have a 6.35 millimeter jack or an eighth inch jack then you really want to get yourself an adapter, an adapter cable, or simply just get yourself a different cord. For example, this female XLR to 35mm cord. I recommend just buying the new cord. Otherwise, your recorder will look like this. And just, just, you know, just for fun, I'm going to be giving this baby away. If you want it, just press the subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below. I'll be announcing the winner in... Let's say two weeks. In a week, I'll be giving this away. Or two weeks. I'm gonna subscribe. <laughs> okay, apparently he's gonna subscribe as well. I'll we'll be giving this baby away if you want it. Do that down below. And if you wanna buy these stuff, check the links down below. I link to all of them. I link on eBay and on Amazon. I like eBay, but I will be making a video tomorrow or today about how to buy online because I realize a lot of people don't actually know how it works. So yeah, um, I guess I just.